that beauty is interesting because I think a lot of a lot of the a lot of viewers find my work beautiful, although there's always something sort of hidden, I suppose. But um, with the works I want to make specifically for Building 22 on Cockatoo is to sort of recreate a domestic environment. Um, going up there today on the site visit, I, I sort of thought it might end up being a bit like a treasure hunt in the placings of pictures and the size of pictures and the way the pictures not only talk to space but the outdoors. But in this idea of um, putting domestic um, materials back in, my idea of beauty is trying to find unification in the designs and linking them up with um, Māori motif. So taking a motif and bank, being able to create these um, specific Māori motifs that are, will be hidden to a lot of people but will be obvious to a lot of others. Um, to sort of unify a new cultural reading of motif or of uh, what, what Māori or New Zealanders are really familiar with. What intrigued me, I think, about the distance between in New Zealand and the rest of the world and the imagery associated with New Zealand was that it got interpreted in a completely different way, that the work was um, free to speak its own sort of language. So that's, I think, the most beautiful part about distance that, if, that work almost becomes um, like an open communicative space where art can just exist. It's not locked down to any, any explanation. So I think that's what I like the most, thinking about my work in distance. I still enjoy this, uh, this idea of things being open, that, that they exist in a, a communicative space. So there's, there's nothing really particular, I think. I want, well, I know that somebody from New Zealand is going to see something different from either an Australian or an American, or maybe I hope that they see there's something contained within, that there's a wider reference um, than it just being um, uh, this like kaleidoscopic field of motif that they may they may be able to source or encounter culture or see something similar from their own cultural set of references. So really, it's uh, it's it's open. I think there's still important things to celebrate in a way, like um, the. The reason I choose to use this material is because I think it celebrates lightness as much as darkness. And um, speaking before about genealogy and whakapapa, it works the same way in that without light, this stuff wouldn't exist. That glitter wouldn't be the material that it is. But um, for Māori, the coming of light also was the first hara or misdeed in the world. And that, the children split the parents, and with light came um, knowledge. So without light, there could be no knowledge, but to get it, there had to be a misdeed. So I sort of think about um, the ideas that David's talking about in that regard, that sometimes it can't be one without the other for them to sort of exist. <laughs>